right, today's 15 processes of blacksmithing is twisting. Um, it's a really basic, basic principle of you know, putting rotation into your material. There's not much to it. Um, most of your problems are going to be in straightening and those kinds of things, but for an example of this, I've thrown a piece of one inch bar stock in the fire, and hopefully we can shoot this in a manner that is visual. So, trick to it is get it hot, lock it in at one end, get plenty of force on it, and then lock it in on the other and apply rotation as you're twisting be careful to not get excessively uneven forces because if you do the wretched things will corkscrew on you and as the material gets twisted more and more um, it will cool down, obviously, and become harder and harder to twist. Reckon I'll go half another turn. Do I usually over twist and then back off a little bit to true? It looks pretty fair. You didn't get too weird. Give that a wee brush. There you go, you can see those nice perky corners. There's a good even twist going through the material. Fade down to a little bit at the top and the bottom. And that's due to cooling. That's really all there is to twisting. Give it a go, try something smaller, that was hard work. I got a little bit of a bend in there and I suppose I'll take another heat and straighten that up a little bit. We'll now do a time lapse where through the magic of Instagram. It is now hot. Are we gonna do that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, was, that was my time lapse situation. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> so it's good and hot now. Uh, what I'm going to look for is um, inconsistencies in my line. A lot of the time, when you are doing a twist, you have two main zones of disalignment. Uh, so this will be your top section where you locked out, bottom section, this is where you laid the twist in. You'll often get kinks here and here. Uh, you'll only get a, a curve in this or a spiral in this if you wind up putting too much body into it. So just be aware that as you are twisting, as soon as you start leaning to get it to twist, you're actually going to be taking it off central axis and you're going to make a corkscrew. So, I'm just going to have a look at my material, see where I've got my primary twists. I'm going to a wooden stump and I'm using a weighted rawhide mallet. I've got a big chunk of copper back there, um, just for extra energy. And as predicted, got a little offset at the bottom. Top seems to be pretty good. Treat it always as square material. As soon as you start um, trying to chase a form, it gets tricky. So instead, just make your life easier and go, okay, this is a square bar. I strike it only on the square planes. And uh, you'll quickly find far easier results. That was pretty, pretty easy there today for straightening. They don't usually go that smoothly. Uh, always look. <coughs> Excuse me. Always look from both ends. Uh, your different view of things helps you see errors.
go. That is, oh, there we go. <laughs> a good even twist, that was not planned at all. Uh, sometimes when you get to the end of straightening, you might find that you've got a little bit of rotation out from square. Um, so you might have to put an extra half turn in or eighth of a turn or something like that. This one seems to come out fairly well. Lovely. So, twisting. There you go. Give it a whirl. Your biggest thing that will give you better quality twists is a even heat. So if you're in coal and you want to do a long heat, you're going to have to shimmy backwards and forwards. Uh, if you're in a gas forge also, be careful of those hot spots created by the burners coming down. You might have to move it backwards and forwards a little bit just to even out that heat. 